pour one out for probably one of the best dads that I've seen in anime. And you might say, what do you mean best dad? Well, at the very least, Paul was there for most cases and wasn't just immediately gone from the beginning of an anime. And even if he was flawed, he was a very realistic dad that tried his best. And at the end of the day, he died protecting his family and he smiled. The last line of the thoughts, though, there was a any news video that we watched and we could hear like Paul, what he was thinking before his death. That's just pretty rough. Now we have the aftermath. We've lost her arm, which I'm sure we're going to get like a prosthetic, so it's not that big of a problem. But the issue is with Zenith. She is, um, I don't know, just being crystallized just made her lose all sense of reality. And I'm not sure if she's just in shock or if she's literally turned into a vegetable. We're about to enter a new series of traumatic, you know, arc. But Roxy's here with us, so maybe just Roxy will help us out. Let's begin today's reaction. This is Earth. This is pre-Isekai for Rudy. Man, why... Why is the default outfit for a neat Isekai, pre-Isekai main character always a tracksuit? I enjoy tracksuits. I don't think they look bad, but like, somehow it's become the official uniform for all these fucking virgin and neat losers before they get Isekai, bro. Like, why, why is that the case? Did they think it was a relief? As as messed up as this sounds, the parents probably thought it was a relief and they were just more upset about the paperwork and probably handling out how much insurance can we make out of this. Because their relationship was not good at all, right? And Rudy was seen as like a leech, someone that is a burden. Like, I don't think it was the same as Paul, right? I don't know. No, my bad, my bad. I, I was understanding this wrong. The dialogue was... He, the way that he posed the question made it seem like the other way. But, like... You think he loves Paul more than his real parents? Even though, But, like, here's the thing. He never even really had that interaction with, like, Paul or Zenith as real parents because he was already so grown up. No arm. We got a sword, though. I'm sorry, Nora Naija wasn't here, but I, I know that it's not literal. Is he blaming his dad right now because of the despair he's feeling? What did they. Why did you go and leave all four of them for? Don't forget Zenith and Lilia. It almost sounds like he's blaming his dad for dying, huh? It is, right? So he's like, you should have lived on and protected them and let me die is the cognitive dissonance that he has. And that's why he's kind of like seemingly blaming, but not really. You go on and protect the four now. Now what? No opening today's episode, huh? You know what that means. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, what's up, girl? You here to save him in his time of despair? Cunny date with Roxy? And we're gonna be saved? Is it, is it that simple? Like, every time we've been super depressed, whether or not it's because of a girl or it's because of our dad died, a, a different girl has shown up to save us every time. It was Sophie before. And now it's gonna be Roxy, probably? I'm still not allowed to watch the opening, for whatever reason, until this episode's done. Is Eris in the opening? Is she gonna show up in season two? Ah, I'd, I'd like to, but then, well, we just got Roxy, though. I, we got, I feel like we gotta spend some time with Roxy first. Maybe Ghislaine. And we just denied her. Oh, oh, the room's locked. The room is locked. Hmm. <laughs> Fond memories. The only memories that I remember is Paul clapping cheeks so loudly that Roxy and Aisha were like, sorry, not Aisha, Lilia. <laughs> they were all just also in heat because of the screaming, bro. <clears throat> oh, the hand? 
冒険者を欲しいことではありませんいやでじゅうわかります私も経験がありますのよあ師匠は父さんも母さんも元気じゃないですかおーボーイはいですがどちらも元気じゃあわかんないですよ軽々しくわかるなんて言うなよおーおーあ。What happened with the Hydra was out of his control, right? Wonder what the man god's thinking right now. He's probably eating this show right now with a bucket of popcorn, being like, oh, this shit is good. Y'all ain't gonna see. You guys have no idea what's gonna happen next. Okay, okay. Does that mean this is incest? Oh, from behind hug. Wonder what Sylphie's gonna say. I wonder how Sylphie would feel right now. Because, like, of all the people that should be helping out rooting this bear. And yeah, of course, Sylphie's not here. It's impossible for her. But if she realizes that Roxy was there for her, for him, and she had, she couldn't do anything, and I don't know. This is, and, and Roxy does not know about Sylphie, by the way. She, she, she thinks that he's still single, by the way. Okay. She's right. You need to let time pass, and you need to be able to. Let your feelings go! <laughs> so, is this the reason why y'all been saying? Is this the reason why y'all been saying, like, this is uh, a controversial episode? So, what? Roxy's gonna fuck the depression out of Rudy? Is that the context of today's episode? And why people are upset on Twitter and making YouTube thumbnails? Like, oh my god, controversy, drama, nuclear drama. Did Roxy groom Rudy and then take advantage of him in his most time of desperation? Uh oh, Roxy's a groomer! Call the police! Oh, there we go. Uh huh. <laughs> she actually got a fuck the depression out of him! <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Could you imagine if she accidentally went for the other hand without realizing that he lost that hand and he was trying to you know, be like, it's like a stump, and she's like, oh, whoops, wrong, wrong hand. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I went for the other hand instead. Well then. I wonder what happened, guys! G guys, they just cuddled. They just hugged. Okay? They, they just hugged, and we had a... Uh, nothing happened. Nothing happened. There, I don't see a bed she with blood here, just like the one that we saved from Sylphus to put in the sacred relic. Which may then imply that Roxy was not a virgin. I think she is. I don't know. Nothing happened, guys. Nothing happened. What's up, Rudy? You have a wife, remember? <laughs> What's Rudy thinking, bro? Is this post not clarity or what? Okay. Guys! Nah, they didn't fuck! I don't see any confirmation. Uh, 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 I mean, it's it's pretty obvious that they did. It's, it's pretty obvious. Are people gonna start canceling Roxy now? <laughs> Are people gonna start canceling Roxy? Roxy is a home destroyer, house wrecker, coming in, taking married men, grooming married men, taking advantage of them. Oh, Roxy's canceled. <laughs> Did it feel good? How was I? Did I last long? What's he gonna say? What the fuck is he gonna say, dude? Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. 
Guys, you yeah, so right in front of you. The family. Ignore the family you have at home. Ignore Sophie and her newborn child coming soon. Focus on the family in front of you right now. Uh huh. Oh, Roxy the groomer is now using Rudy's dead dad to manipulate him into forgetting about Sophie so that she can be the main wife. Oh my God, I cannot believe this demon. Alright. Mm -hmm. Like Zanoba and tired. You know who could have saved Roxy? Sorry, you know who else could have saved Rudy instead? Imagine if Tall Hand showed up and Tall Hand tried to do some shit like that. Listen, listen, young boy. Your dad, Paul, he was good. I know you lost a dad, but I can be your daddy now. Get the fuck out of here, tall hands. Did you fuck? My <sighs> great grandmother in law now knows that, oh, we're caught. I think she understood. Oh, no, what are we gonna do? No, Roxy doesn't know. What can we do about Zenith Man? Is it over? Is she just in the state permanently now? There's nothing to heal? Physically good, no memories. So I was right then! Last episode, I was like, oh no, did she lose her memories? And then she started going like, uh, and I'm like, oh fuck, I thought her brain function just like cut off, but she's not mentally dead. She's not a vegetable. She is just in shock and trying to process what's going on. She's forgotten everything. She's a blank state, almost like a baby, and now needs rehab to slowly understand even how to talk and stuff like that, right? <laughs> Okay. I mean, shit, we got a new son, but we got, we got a new kid coming, right? Let's bring Zenith back to the kid, and they can both be Goo Goo Gaga asses, and we can just teach them at the same time. We got a grown ass adult and a baby on the way. We can get two birds, one stone. Really? Sorry, what's Lily about to say? Can I say something just a little impolite? Oh, is she about to clap us? Be the man of the family. She's right. It did look like Lilia was crying a lot too, right? Everyone's faces here, especially Rudy, right? And then Lilia's eyes, there's a lot of like lines underneath. Obviously, they're just like, you know, super depressed. But now, it's time to go back home to Sophie. And we got a new kid. And, you know, everything should be pretty happy now, right? Right? Are we bringing Roxy back home too? What the fuck is Norn and... Uh, like, what is this? Nor Norn is literally gonna say, I knew it, you were always trash. Dad's dead and you brought back another woman? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Mom's also almost like done too. She's gonna blame us. Norn is 100% gonna blame us for this. <laughs> Sophie, what the fuck? You brought another wife? What do you mean? No more racist desert songs either, man. Oh. It's a montage scene to get back home. Oh, this is the same thing we did, too. Eddie <laughs> Narise's side eye here, bro. Eddie Narise's side eye here as she sees, you know, Roxy cling onto Rudy. And she's, this is what she's thinking. She's like, 
what the fuck is gonna happen when we get home with my granddaughter? Like, oh no. Oh no. She knows. She knows a storm that's about to happen. Here we go. Rudy should at least tell Roxy before we get there. It's like, listen, listen. I know you don't know this, but I'm actually married. Sylphie, yeah, you remember Sylphie? I don't know if she was actually there back then, but like, we should give her a heads up. If we don't give her a heads up, we just throw her into the fucking lava. Oh no. Oh no. It's gotta be some kinky shit now. We know, we know you love her, but what about Sylphie? Well, father said we can dual wheel. Not in quite the same way I love Sylphie, but I couldn't say which one I love more. What do you think? What do you think he loves more? He probably loves Roxy a lot. He probably loves Sylphie a lot, but Roxy's like fresh and new, like relative. I, I know he's known Roxy for a longer time, but this is like recency bias, right? <laughs> And you'll be the best thing ever. He's like contemplating which one he loves. And then later on, Eris shows up. And then he's like, <laughs> I love Eris. I love Sylphie and Roxy too in the same way. But I don't know which one I love more. Dual wield. Nikori, it's over. What do you mean faithfully? Promise has been broken. Move on. We got to move forward. Roxy? No reaction? No reactions? What does this imply then? She knew from the beginning. Yet yeah, she still went into the room. And she still did it. Despite no wake. Roxy the groom being over. <laughs> This is not like, you know, real society that we have where monogamy is the most important thing in a relationship, right? In this world, people have multiple wives and the culture seems to be a little bit different, but definitely a bit different, right? So Roxy doing this despite knowing because at the end of the day, she wanted to heal Rudy, right? She wanted to fuck the depression out of him. So I feel like she went in with good intentions for sure. But she knew that he was married with the kid on the way and she still did it. Does this mean that she is someone to be praised and worshipped and thinking, wow, she took one for the team fully aware of that she's going to be a side girl and she still did it. Or she's a greedy grooming, you know, homewrecker for doing this while knowing, fully knowing what's going on. I, I don't, I don't. Uh, <laughs> This is why I said Tall Hand would have been the one to do it, bro. See, if Tall Hand did it, actually, the drama would be even better. The controversy, the Twitter, it, Twitter would be having a field day. If Tall Hand was the one to show up and, you know, fuck the depression out of Rudy. <laughs> That's, in my kid canon, that would have been the best timeline. Yeah, blame me. I'm a sinful woman. She took advantage! No, no, she actually does want you. She actually does want you, though. I don't think Rudy's gonna let that just happen. Are we just gonna throw Roxy away as like a side girl? I feel like he's gonna. He really does care. And, 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 and Sophie was okay with the concubine for because of the you know, conception issues, but she's already been pregnant. And a concubine is someone that's not, you know, you're married to, right? Like, Lilia is not a concubine. She's an actual wife. So I, I, I think that it's going to go that direction. It's going to be second wife material. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean by that? One more time. 
聞くだけでいいですから。Alright. はい。Excuse some why she did it? 一目惚れだったんですよ。In this season, right? You fell in love at first sight when he saved you in the labyrinth and not all. Because, like, listen, I'm doing a lot of defense for you right now, Roxy. But the grooming allegations, you cannot beat this shit if you're rewarding it like this. Come on, Roxy! Thank you for clearing that up. Thank you for clearing that up. And I'm sure everyone knew what they were talking about. But when she says shit like this without leading in with that, it's a bit hard to defend her, my man. Now, 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 let's think about this. Ooh, ooh. I want to stir up the fucking drama plot. All right, let's stir the shit pot up. Let's go back to season one for a second. Remember what happened in season one? The reason why Edie Anime actually dropped Mushoku Tensei, which I think isn't um, a bad thing. I think he made a stand. You know, he made a principal decision and he dropped it. I can respect that, absolutely. But the biggest point of contention in that episode was Rudy and Roxy. Sorry, Rudy and Eris. You know, they fucked. Now, whether, and there's a lot of different, you know, viewpoints, and oh, it is an absolute shit fest. Some people are saying, oh my god, I can't believe Rudy, you have the, you are like 40 plus year olds mentally, and you were going after Eris the entire time, creepy ass. And other people are saying, no, 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 Rudy got manipulated because Eris basically forced upon this family card and says, you know, I want to have your kittens now, and even overpowered him and fucked. Now, I, whether or not that is true or not, it doesn't matter. The reason I'm bringing this up is because if we are going to go with the line of thinking that Roxy is a groomer and she manipulated Rudy like this, right? How does that make any sense? Because you think that he's mentally old. He is probably mentally more older than Roxy, right? So then if you apply that same concept with the Rudy and Eris situation, does that also make sense? I feel like they kind of contradict each other. You know, there, there's like conflicting points and oh, people are going to still have even more things to say and type and say, no, 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 it can't even be. It can't even be. I think that Roxy is stunted, isn't she? As a demon, right? The way that she acts and everything, even though she says she has more experience, isn't her mind more of like a child or something? I don't know how the math makes up. Like, living body age, she is way older as a demon. Absolutely way older. But we're talking about the mental maturity because this is a, a defense point, a talking point that a lot of like weird fucking lollicons always bring up and says, Oh, well, you know, these isekai characters, they're mentally immature. Even though they were like 40 years old, you know, Rudy actually was only that of a 14-year-old's mind. So it's okay if 40 year old dude you know you know fucks a little girl it's like what are you talking about that that's the that's the talking point i'm i'm kind of like bringing up and displaying and showing the contradictions in the way of thinking i'm saying if you can apply that to air does that same work to work to roxy now i hope that we have an absolute fucking fire fest i hope that we have an absolute war in the comment section it's just gonna boost the engagement baby mm. yeah i saw that same with tall hand tall hand kept looking in the ass <sighs> a little fidgeting moments. Oh, when she took him out on the horse, remember? The first time he ever went out? I love you too, baby girl. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Are you talking about? Are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. And I'm sure she'd help you to pick yourself back up no matter what value it felt. Sylphie, we're talking about Sylphie right now, but she's not here, so let me do it for you. <laughs> and the only way I can do that is by fucking him. What about Tall Hand? Huh? What about Tall Hand? <laughs> I get it, but was sex the only way? It's like, 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 I get what she's saying, but uh, like, did you have to fuck the depression out of him? Right? It, 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 like, like when you bring geese, like what? I don't know. I don't know if it's like. That's obviously the main talking point, right? The, the, the making the love part. I get it. I get it. But like, there's got to be different ways of, you know, offering some sort of therapy sessions without just, you know, just offering your coochie. <laughs> she had no choice, guys. Oh, she's such a sinful woman. Let's fuck again. Let me clap them demon cheeks until we get home. <laughs> what? 
ロクシーのためにも Do it! おおおおおおおおおおおやめてくださいそういうのはバンクおほんにジェイルスタップわかりましたワンワイフイトーリュウワンソーツスタイルトゥワイフストゥソーツニトーリュウソフィーロクシーサンフォーディオエリスエサンフォーディオエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリスエリもうめっ oh, right, this is all secret, right? ルディここはシャリアの近くにある。ポーダイチまで来たのか。どうりで先輩がラパンに来るのは早かったわけだ。Yeah. Teleport, easy. では、俺とエリナリーゼさんで先導します。Hmm, now, oh, エリナリーゼ and Rudy, oh, it's, it's time to have a conversation. What, what? あなた、ミリス京都ではありませんでしたわよ、ね。No, I don't think he does. As in, if you're a follower of Millis, then monogamy. But if you don't, then it's okay with multiple wives. Is that where she's going with? Is that where she's going with? Oh, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do it. 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 I'm Damn, our grandma's law is telling us to cheat on her fucking granddaughter. <laughs> well, it's not cheating. The concept here at play is having multiple wives. And when you have multiple wives, it's not considered cheating. But it's wild that grandmother right now is giving us her blessings, bro. What do you think, Rudy? Come on! Make the connections! She said it. She said it to do it. Oh, blame it, Rizzi, all right? Blame Paul, blame Marina Reze, blame Roxy. Rudy had no choice in this, okay? <laughs> She does. Alright. Imagine how crushed she's gonna be. Alright. Alright. I don't know. 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 In fact, Lily is taking care of it now. We're a happy family. Wow, multiple wives. I like her now. <laughs> That's actually such a good scene in season five. Paul was trying to be like peekaboo, and then all the kids are like. Okay, so Sylvia's gonna cry at first, but it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Your Paul's son, the least you can do is have two wives. We'll see. We'll see. That's when Eris shows up. That's right. Mm -hmm. She'll be there when that happens. Divorce arc and coming into a new girl, which is actually an old girl. She probably heard all that in the tents, huh? You hear all that? I know you did. So. Uh, <clears throat> Our master is about to become a wife. Okay. So, um, will you marry me? Then that just means I'm gonna be Roxy Grey Rat now. 
そのビエットだったんです OK はいそう聞いていますロクシー・グレイラッドロクシー Last name you want one? Mine もういいクスティーがスカンバック師匠もロキシー・グレイラッドに名前を変えるつ、はい、愛していますウォーコンフェッション<笑>ああでもありがたいです。奥さんの了承は取らなくて。はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、I think everyone knew what was gonna happen, right? Ever since, you know, Paul saying dual wheel with the sword and then Roxy existing, it's like, is it gonna happen? Will it happen? And oh my god, it actually happened. Whether or not you think that this is wrong, it's not up for me to decide. Everyone can have their own opinion, and oh, this is gonna be a shit fest of a comment section. And we're gonna need a little bit more context as to why Roxy had needed, you know, to fucking serve her coochie, her only way to save Rudy. I feel like there's different ways of doing it rather than just fucking, but hey, it happened. And we need to get some light novel context to straighten things out. We are no longer a single wife, we are dual wielding. Roxy is gonna join our harem of a family, and I wonder how Sophie's gonna react to this. I kind of feel bad, but knowing Sophie, I feel like she's gonna take the mature high road and she'll be okay with it and just go along. But oh, oh man, this is gonna be spicy. Wonder how many people are saying cancel Roxy. She's a groomer, she's been plotting this from the beginning. Hey. That's not something for me to take a stance on. All I know is the comment section is gonna be blazing in its all its glory, and the algorithm engagement is just gonna keep going up. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.